I'm going to show you exactly how you can go from your dog pulling on the leash like this to walking beautifully by your side like this. Maybe your dog is borderline dangerous like this, but you would rather have complete control like this. Well, don't worry. As a canine behaviorist, I've helped literally thousands of people have these miraculous changes. And in this video, I'll break down the exact three steps I use that work time and time again. The first point, if you want your dog to walk beautifully on a loose lead and to not pull, is to ask yourself the question, do they actually understand what it is that you want from them? And by that, I mean, have you taught your dog the obedience of the heel command? Now, heel obedience doesn't have to be super fancy. It doesn't have to be competition obedience. It's actually very straightforward, but it's only fair to our dogs to help them understand what it is that we do want before we can move on to step two and step three. Now, teaching heel doesn't need to be complicated. It's a very simple process, but step number one to stopping your dog from pulling is making sure they understand what it is that you do want from them first. Once you've had fun teaching your dog the basics of heel, it's time to move on to stage two, which is building engagement. But what actually is engagement? Well, simply put, engagement is where your dog looks up to you and focuses on you. The better your dog's engagement, the more they focus on you. And the more they focus on you, the more they're not focusing on other things. And this is where the magic happens. If your dog is focusing on you, they can't be in front of you. For them to be able to focus on you, they have to be by your side or just behind you. And the single best way to build engagement is my engagement tune-up drill. Here's a quick example of me doing just that. So now we've taught your dog what it is that you do want from them and we've built engagement with them, now the next step is to challenge them when they're making bad decisions. Your dog now understands what it is that you do want from them. You've put all of that hard work in and with our engagement tune-up process, you've taught them this new language of how you can use your lead properly, how you can use your lead to further engagement, further your leadership and further your relationship. Once you've done that, when your dog makes bad decisions, if they know what it is that you want from them, yet they're still pulling towards that dog, they're still pulling off towards that cyclist that's driving past, they're still getting frustrated at the bus over there, you now have the ability with minor little bits of lead pressure to be able to challenge your dog and help them understand, remember buddy, that's not what we're doing. We're doing this heel thing that I've taught you. Do that for me and I'm gonna lavish you with praise, reward and all the good stuff in life. But if you don't listen, you might hurt me, you might hurt somebody else and you're most likely going to be hurting yourself. So you have a duty of care as a loving owner to challenge that behavior with your dog and you now have the skills to be able to do so. And if you follow those three steps, you absolutely will be able to follow the thousands of people before you that I've helped turn the shore of their day into the joy of their day. And if you want to see more details on any of these points, just subscribe as we do videos deep diving into these topics every week.